Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bappi Hamid. So guys, in this video, we'll be learning how we can do live object detection with the help of YOLO V8. So guys, many of you have requested me for this particular video. Like uh, we are able to train the model, okay, of the YOLO V8. And we are also able to do the uh, image level uh, prediction, okay, uh, on top of any kinds of image actually we are giving. But how to do it for the live prediction? Let's say I will launch my web camera and uh, real time actually it will do the prediction okay is it possible or not yeah it is possible so in this video actually i'll show you how we can do this kinds of uh, live prediction okay with our uh, web camera so for this actually what i'm gonna use actually i'm gonna use uh, one amazing library uh, from roboflow called roboflow supervision then i already uh, recorded another video like how we can train yolo v8 uh, object detection model on top of our custom data so there actually i already showed you how to train and how to do the image level prediction but there actually i didn't show like how to do this kinds of uh, live prediction okay so what you can do guys uh, if you want to learn like how we can train our custom model okay uh, with the help of this yolo v8 you can watch this particular uh, video then you can come to this video okay and then you can learn like how we can use that particular model to do the live prediction so in this video i'll show you like how we can do the live prediction we'll be launching our web camera okay and we'll be doing the live testing on top of it so for this i already told you i'm going to use something called roboflow supervision so if you just uh, search like supervision github so this is the official uh, supervision actually github uh, uh, I mean, uh, repository you will see, and this is the from actually Roboflow. So Roboflow team has developed this uh, supervision library. Uh, so what is supervision? Supervision is nothing but it's just a utility uh, related uh, library. Uh, so this uh, supervision helps you uh, actually during your uh, project implementation. So let's say you are writing some of the code, okay? Uh, let's say you want to open up your camera and there actually you want to predict, uh, uh, okay, you want to predict the objects and then again you can uh, you, you want to annotate those particular level on top of the video Okay, for this you need to write tons of code But if you are using this Roboflow supervision, so it already has this kinds of code written Okay, only you just need to import them and try to use it Okay, I will show you how to use it this particular library and this is awesome library I was exploring and I thought uh, let's integrate with this uh, Implementation and we'll see like uh, we using very less line of code actually we'll be able to do it. Okay, so you need to install via peep actually there is a command everything has been given so first of all what i will do i will open up my uh, local drive here then here i will open up my vs code and here you just need to create one virtual environment with python 3.8 okay just try to create for me i already created the environment so now here what i will show you guys i'll show you the requirements actually you need to install here so here you just uh, create a file called requirement.txt requirements dot txt okay so this is the uh, file i'll be creating and inside that i will mention the requirements so guys uh these two requirements actually you need uh the first one is like ultralytics okay so this is the library you need uh if you want to use yolo v8 model okay so in that video actually i already showed you okay uh wh what is this ultralytics and uh, how to access the yolo v8 model okay from this particular library everything i discussed so go ahead and watch that particular recording so what i will do in this video i'll just uh, use one uh, like pretend model i'll di directly download that pretend model and I'll, I'll use it but if you want to use your custom model you need to first of all train that particular model and how to train that particular model i already covered in my uh, that that yolo v8 uh, training video okay so just try to watch that particular video you will get the idea then i'm installing this supervision okay supervision and i'm specifying the version because i'm going with this particular version because this is the stable version so far so that's why i'm taking the version now you just need to install these two you know, packages okay in your environment so for this you can write this command so pip install pip install hyphen r requirement.txt okay so if you execute so it will install all of them so for me i already uh, installed so that's why it is telling requirement already satisfied but for you it may take some time so guys as you can see it is already satisfied for me and if you want to test it whether everything is working fine or not so you can execute this particular command so you can also execute this uh, yolo command okay from the command line interface this is also possible i already covered in my uh, that video so let's say i want to uh, do the predict okay and I want to download one model. Okay, I want to use one model. Uh, so this is the model I want to download, YOLO V8L. Uh, this is the largest model I'm downloading. If you visit YOLO V8 uh, actually models, you will see different different model, but I'm using the large, largest model. And source is equal to I'm giving zero because I want to access my camera, okay? But if you have, let's say, testing image, so what you can do, you can give the testing image path, okay, in that case, but I want to use my live camera. So that's why I will be giving this uh, zero here. Now show is equal to true, you need to give this parameter. Now if I execute this particular command, so what will happen? It will open up my camera, okay? It will load this particular model and it will do the detection in real time, okay? So this is the command line command, okay? And 
with the help of this command i can test it like whether this package has been installed successfully or not so what i will do guys i will uh, close my camera okay on the recording then i will uh, start this uh, command okay and i will show you the prediction Uh, so see guys if this model is not available first of all it will download from the internet okay see this model is downloading so i'll be using this particular model and if you want to use your custom model you just need to uh, train that particular model okay uh, so guys as you can see uh, it has started my camera okay and uh, it is detecting my chair and it is detecting me as a person okay now let's say if i hold my smartphone so it should also yeah see it should also detect my cell phone okay that means uh, it is working fine okay and i'm using like bigger model that means largest model that's why uh, some latency is there okay so if you see uh, some uh, latency is there but if you're using a smaller model you will get real time prediction there okay uh, so here uh, what i will do i'll quickly stop the execution so press ctrl c from the keyboard it will stop the execution now left hand side you can see it has downloaded this particular model okay uh, whenever i executed this particular command yolo detect predict uh, this model if it's not available it will download the model all right that means everything is working fine and uh, this model actually this is the official model pre trained model but if you want to use your custom model that means that model you have trained so you can watch this particular video and you can train your model okay and that model you can place here and you can execute this particular command and you can load this particular model but this is for the command line interface okay but let's say you are doing one project and you need to write as a python script okay then how to do it for this uh what i will do i'll just create one file here called detect okay detect.py now here first of all i need to import some of the libraries so first of all i will import something called opencv so cv2 and if you install these are the requirements so it will uh, by default install opencv you don't need to install opencv manually okay then I need to import my YOLO uh, from the Ultralytics. Okay, so for this, I'll just write from uh, Ultra. Okay, Ultralytics import uh, import YOLO. Fine. Then I need to import something called Supervision. So from uh, or I can import like that. Uh, just a minute. Import Supervision. Okay, Supervision as. Uh, SV okay, so this is the shortcut actually I can give the name now what I do guys I'll first of all uh, define the uh, Frame height and frame width because I want to open up my camera So definitely I I need a frame width and frame height. So for this let's define one uh, two variables so frame uh, frame uh, frame width Okay, is equal to let's give uh, Let's I'll give 12 uh, 80 and frame height frame uh, underscore height let's take uh, 720 then here first of all i will uh, define one function okay let's define one function i will just write def main or here i can knife uh, def uh, detection okay this is the function i have written so inside that first of all what i will do i will uh, open up my okay i'll open up my camera i will read the camera so for this you need to write cv dot video uh, cv dot okay so cv2 dot i think uh, so first of all i will uh, store it in a cap variable then i'll just write cv2 okay cv2 dot video capture then here you need you just need to give your camera id so by default i will give zero so it will open up uh, open up my camera then after that you need to set your uh, height and width okay so just write cap dot uh, set okay so this is the code you can write so it will set your height and width okay of the frame see cap dot set cv2 cap uh, prop frame width and prep uh, cap, cap prop frame height okay so here i've given the width and here is the height okay now you need to load the yolo uh, v8 model so for this just write model equal to you need to call this particular yolo uh, function so yolo inside that you need to give the model location so here is my model location it is available so i'll just copy the name and i'll load this particular model i'll load this model uh i will start my uh, camera okay uh, because this is going to be a loop it will uh, uh, read the frame one by one okay so every time it will read the frame so that's why i'll just write one while loop so while uh, while true while true now inside that first of all i will uh, read my camera so it will return two things let me show you it will return your uh, frame and the status okay whether it is uh, returning successfully or not so this is the 
uh, actually status and this is the frame then after that uh, i need to do the detection okay so this is the code for detection let me show you so this is code the code for the detection so here uh, the model actually i have loaded okay here the model i have loaded inside the model actually i am giving my frame okay the frame actually i am getting okay from my camera then what i am doing i am using this supervision okay supervision so here there is a method called detection okay so here you need to call this from yolo then you need to pass the result okay so it will have all the detection points okay it will like have all the detection points and it will have all the labels okay the labels actually you saw like person chair smartphone and so on right so it will automatically capture those information here now what i will do guys i will extract the label from here because let's say uh, after doing the detection okay it will uh, give you the id okay it will give you the unique id but if you want to map those id with the label you should have the label ready so how to extract the label so this is the code so this is the code to extract the label so here i have written one list comprehension as you can see uh, here i'm looping through my detection okay the detection i'm getting and here i'm just taking the confidence code as well as my uh, class id okay class id that means this will re uh, return you the label okay so once i got the label then what i will do guys i i need to annotate okay i need to annotate on top of the camera window so to annotate this uh, frame actually uh, what i need guys i need the supervision so for this i need to create this box annotated uh, object okay so to create the box annotator object so this is the code so this code actually will get uh, from this uh, supervision github actually so they have already written how to do it and all so guys uh, let me show you so this is the box annotator uh, object so here I'm using supervision box annotator. You need to define the thickness, then text thickness and text scale. Like it will show you the box, right? Box thickness. Then it will show you the label, like whether it's a person chair or a smartphone. You need to define the text thickness and text scale. So these are the configuration it will have. Now you can call this box annotator. And from the box annotator, you have one method called annotate. Here you need to give your frame, the frame actually you are getting, okay? Then you need to give the detection, the detection you got, and then you need to give the label, the label actually you are getting, okay? So once you provide each and everything, then what you do, what you can do, guys? You, you need to just show show this thing in the camera window, okay? So I'll just write cv.im show. This is YOLO v8 detection, and this is the frame actually I want to show. Then if you want to break the camera, so you need to write this particular logic. Okay, this is the uh, this is the logic. So if you just press Q from the keyboard, it will stop the camera window. Okay, then finally I will call this particular function inside a. Now here what I will do, I'll just write this particular line, and here I'll call my function. Okay, here I'll call my function detection. Now everything uh, should be work. Okay, now let's check whether it is working or not. So what I will do, guys, I will again stop my camera. Then I will execute this particular file. So now guys, I will open up my terminal and here I will first of all clear it. Then I will just execute detect.py. Uh, so guys, as you can see, uh, it has uh, it has started my camera and it is detecting me as a person and my chair. And if I hold my smartphone also, see it is detecting a cell phone okay i think it is visible yeah it is detecting a cell phone okay that means i am able to do the detection real time okay i uh, launched my camera and i'm taking the frame one by one and uh, uh, it is detecting okay with the help of this yolo v8 model now let me stop the camera so i'll stop the camera and uh, here is the code guys okay now see the code size guys it's like very uh, less code i have written uh, because it is possible uh, because of this uh, supervision okay so if you are using supervision so definitely you can write this code in a very uh, easy way, okay, easy manner. But if you're uh, writing this thing with the OpenCV or any other tool, okay, so you need to write tons of code, okay, you need to handle this detection and everything. So that's why uh, this supervision you can explore. So this is one of the amazing library and not only actually this, actually you can perform so many things with the help of this supervision. You can go ahead uh, and look into this particular repository, okay. And if you want to use your custom model, I already told you, you need to train that particular custom model. For this, you just uh, watch this particular recording. You will get the idea how to, uh, I mean, uh, how to actually uh, uh, train the model and all, right? So yes, guys, uh, this is all from this video. I hope you uh, like this particular video and you got the idea how to do re real-time uh, object detection with the help of ELO V8 model, okay? And how we can launch the camera and all. So guys, thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.